In lessons 25 through 27, we're going to take every skill that we've learned so far and put them all together. So students will add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. They'll be required to use both GCF and LCM. They'll have to simplify their final answers, and they'll need to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers if necessary. The sheet is specially designed, so let me point out how it works. Here, you'll notice that all four boxes in each row have the same two fractions. Here's one half and one third, one half and one third, one half and one third, one half and one third. The only thing that changes between them is the operation. Here, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And by only changing the operations in each problem, it helps students make decisions about which procedure to use. Let's go over the first row together. Here we have the problem 1 half plus 1 third. And these are the two numbers that students should notice first. And they should remember that halves and thirds are not the same thing and we can't add them together yet. So let's use the LCM to rename the fractions so that we can add them. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6, so students should write blank over 6 plus blank over 6. How did we get from 2 to 6? We did that by multiplying by 3. So write it down, write it in the numerator as well. How did we get from 3 to 6? And we multiplied by 2. Times 2 in the denominator, times 2 in the numerator. Now it's just simple multiplication. 1 times 3 is 3, write it down. 2 times 3 is 6, and it's already there. Next, we have 1 times 2, which is 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and it's already there. We know we're doing it right. So now, let's just add. Sixths plus sixths give us sixths. How many sixths? We have five sixths. Box your answer. Here's letter B. Instead of one half plus one third, we have one half minus one third. So again, let's use the LCM to rewrite this problem. And the LCM of two and three is six. So blank over six minus blank over six. Multiply by three, multiply by two. One times three gives you three. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Sixths minus sixths give you sixths. How many sixths? We have one sixth. And box your answer. Next up, letter C. Here we have 1 half times 1 third. Let's see if we can simplify first. And there's nothing to simplify here, so let's go ahead and multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Write it down and box your answer of 1 6. Finally, letter D. Instead of 1 half times 1 third, we have 1 half divided by 1 third. Remember, we're not going to divide fractions. We're going to rewrite this and multiply by the reciprocal. So underneath, I'll write down 1 half times 3 over 1, which is the reciprocal of 1 third. Let's see if we can simplify anything. And, it's look, and it looks like there's nothing that we can simplify. So let's just multiply across. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2, and we're almost done. We just need to convert this to a mixed number. And just like we learned in lesson 15, the answer here is 1 and 1 half. Box your answer. Now when you move on to the next row, you'll notice that the same two fractions are repeated over and over, and the only thing that changes is the operations between them. So that's how lessons 25 through 27 work. 
and it'll help students make decisions about which operations to use when they're working with fractions.